welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Jillian and in today's video, as you guys can see from the title, it is going to be an organizing video. So I did recently just do the whole KonMari style clean with me organization inside my closet, but that was probably about three and a half months ago. And since then, my closet has started to get unorganized once again. For some reason, my closet is like the main area that usually always gets very unorganized so quickly. And I just wanted to tackle it before it got way out of control. So I thought I would take you guys along with me while I went ahead and organized my closet. I vacuumed it out and I also got rid of maybe like five or six shirts and also a pair of sneakers. So I also was able to get rid of a few things, which is always great because now I have a little more room in my closet. So let's just jump right in to this closet organization. All right, you guys, so this is what we are working with. This is how my closet is currently looking like. So I did let it get out of control or a little out of hand in the past few months since I last cleaned it out. But this is my husband's side. His side, I'm just going to like straighten up all his clothes and then his shoes. And then I need to clean off this vanity table that the mirror broke off. So my husband has to try to put it back together. I don't know. And then I need to refold all of my pants because as you guys can see, they're just kind of like tossed. And then as far as my clothes, I don't think I will get rid of anything just because I've already donated and got rid of a lot of clothes like two or three times. So I'm not sure, but we will see. My shoes obviously needs to be reorganized. Maybe I'll get rid of a few pair, I'm not sure. Over there in the corner is just a few gifts. I'm gonna be doing a box swap with someone special, so definitely look out for that soon. And then my bags will probably reorganize as well. Up here on my shelf, it's still pretty organized up there, so not too bad up there. And then up there, it's still pretty organized as well. And then I will obviously vacuum the floor as well because it needs to be vacuumed. But yeah, that's how everything is looking for the before. And then you guys will see how it looks once I am completely done organizing the closet. So I'm going to start over on my husband's side of the closet. And I'm just going to straighten up all of his clothes as best as possible. And then I'm going to take all of the empty hangers and place them in a separate area. I hate having to look for hangers. I like the hangers to be in one specific area. So once I need a empty hanger, I know where to grab it from. I'll also do the same thing with his shoes. Just organize them and straighten them out. And then as far as the top of his shelves, they were already pretty much organized just because I just did that a few months ago, like three months ago, like I mentioned to you guys when I did the KonMari style. So I think he only had maybe one pair of shorts up there or pants that I ended up hanging up. But other than that, it was pretty organized already. So now I'm going to move over to my vanity and clean off the few things that are on top of it. I should probably get rid of this vanity because it's falling apart and also I tend to throw a lot of things on there and it gets cluttered but that is finally cleaned off and now I'm going to move over to all of my pants and I'm going to refold them all. Some of them were folded all the way in the back but the ones in the front were not. They were just piled up on each other so I'm just refolding all of them and then placing them back neatly on the shelf. And now moving over to my clothing, I am just going to go through everything and try to straighten it up as best as possible. And then I did rehang a few things that were like falling off the hangers. I also was able to get rid of, I think like five or six shirts, which is also really good because I'm trying to declutter my closet as much as possible. So like I said, I did get rid of five or six items and then I am just going to organize it as best as possible. So I like to do like tank tops and like short sleeve shirts and then I go on into like winter clothing. And then I have a few sweaters in the back. I keep all of my thicker sweaters and jackets downstairs in a closet, but all of like my cardigans, I do keep upstairs in my closet.
And now to go through all of my shoes, I did get rid of one pair of shoes. I was hoping to get rid of more, but for some reason I always hold on to shoes for so long, but I did straighten everything up and I like to keep like all of my heels all the way in the bottom because I rarely ever wear those. So I like keep them all the way in the bottom and then the shoes that I wear the most, I like to keep up on top. So just organizing all my shoes and then I decided to put all of my sandals all the way in the side. I'll probably buy a bin to store them in, but for now I just stack them on top of each other on the side. And then my shelf, as you guys can see, I only had like three or four things that I put into the bin. Other than that, it was already pretty clean. And then I'm gonna wipe down my vanity that is so old and falling apart. I need to get rid of this, but I wouldn't have anywhere to really store my makeup, so that's why I'm holding on to it. But I'm just gonna wipe it down really quickly. And the last thing I'm gonna do is just vacuum up my closet. So I'm just gonna move everything around so I can be able to vacuum underneath everything and make sure everything is picked up and cleaned. And this is the last thing that I will be doing in my closet organization. on how my closet turned out so over on my husband's side i just straightened up all of his clothes his bins as well as his shoes and then i refolded some of the clothes that were in there that's all like my workout um outfits and stuff and then my vanity which i should just get rid of it's so old and it's falling apart but right now that's where i have all my makeup i cleaned off that as well refolded all of my pants and then my belt and like my dressy work pants are over there in the corner, even though I haven't worked in like four years. Some extra hangers up there. And then I straightened up a little bit up here that it was only maybe like two or three things up there that I need to straighten up. And then my clothes, I did get rid of a few things, not much. I think like four or five shirts I got rid of. And then I just tried to put like tank tops and like um, spaghetti straps all the way in the front. And then short sleeves, dressy shirts, and then so on. Long sleeves, sweaters, knitted um, shirts, stuff like that. And then down there are all of my shoes. And then my sandals are all the way in the corner there. I need to get maybe like a bin to put my sandals in, but my sandals are in the corner. And then an extra pair of slippers and my purses. And then over here is where I have some of my long necklaces. But that's how everything turned out, I'm happy. It looks nice and clean and organized now. Let's hope that it stays like that for a while. All right guys, so that is going to end my closet organization video for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me while I got my closet nice and clean. Hopefully I could have motivated at least one of you guys to get something done around in your own home. If you enjoyed today's video, remember to give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe and turn on your notification bell if you have not already. I would really love to have you be a part of my YouTube channel and definitely look out for a lot more cleaning and organizing videos because I have been batch filming a lot of cleaning and organizing videos. So you guys are going to see a lot more soon. So definitely subscribe if you have not already. And I just want to say thanks so much for watching today's video and I will see you guys next time. Bye.